the politician known as the Punisher is no longer an unlikely presidential candidate from the South. Rodrigo Duterte took his no-nonsense message to the people of the Philippines and they liked it. The 71-year-old is happy to put a divisive campaign behind him. I'd like to say that I'd like to, to reach my hand to my opponents. Uh, let us begin the healing now. His two closest rivals conceded heavy defeats, including former Interior Secretary Ma Rojas. Now attention is turning to what sort of president the former mayor of Davao City on the southern island of Mindanao will be. His win marks a major shift for politics in the Philippines, which has long been dominated by the establishment in the capital Manila. Rodrigo Duterte is talking big political changes, including a rewrite of the constitution to allow for a parliamentary system. And if he doesn't get the support of Congress on certain issues, he says he'll shut the doors and lead a revolutionary government. That's raised concerns about a return to dictatorship. 30 years after a successful uprising against President Ferdinand Marcos. Since then, governments have been mired in corruption and bureaucracy. Despite recent economic progress, some believe that perhaps full democracy hasn't worked. I think the Filipinos are willing to accept the guidance of a very strong leader for as long as this leader will show faithfulness to the interest of the basic uh, masses of people, create opportunities. While in charge of Davao City, Duterte adopted a zero-tolerance policy on crime and drugs that allegedly resulted in more than a thousand extrajudicial killings. When he's inaugurated, he says the same rules apply, promising it'll be bloody. Like access. To Human rights workers say it's been a difficult job investigating the many unexplained deaths in Davao City. The problem we have always been confronted is the absence of witnesses or the lack of it. Uh, witnesses uh, who are not volunteering to, to cooperate in our investigations. Duterte's methods may be questionable, but Filipinos view him as someone who gets things done. Opponents warn the Philippines will enter a period of instability under his leadership, but many voters are clearly willing to take that risk. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Davao City.